it's time to fight Cho'Gath in the ultimate battle. That's always fun. I'm very interested in this video game. This video game where you can stun lock someone from 100 health without hitting a single skill shot. What an interesting video game. Everyone's going out to watch this game. They say Fortnite. Ha! Huh. Does that game have stun locking from full health without hitting a single skill shot? I think not. I'll watch League. Thank you. Wow, I was so outplayed by the skill of Cho'Gath. It's amazing what you can do at this game when you pull out skills like this Cho'Gath pulled out. I'm glad Riot never nerfed that because it would just, it would allow players to show less skill if things like that were actually, you know, nerfed and not just, you know, broken as ever-living fuck. Riot Games, if you're watching this, you guys are straight the most retarded developers I've ever seen in video game history. You guys are, without a doubt, the worst sacks of shit I've ever seen in my life. If you guys were to go out of business and end up homeless, I would say yes. Yes. Good. Like, I'm a fucking anti-tank. My entire kit is kill tanks. And what does this tank do? He literally just stands in front of me! Until I die! Like, what, how, how, what level of retardation are these people working on? And the thing is, he's been doing this since his rework! It's been like three fucking years! I mean, not three years, it's been a long fucking time, though. We're really getting outplayed by this Cho'Gath. The way that he stands in front of us taking no damage really shows me that Riot deserves to be fired. They, like when I say deserves, I mean they actually deserve it. Like they should be fired because they are such sacks of shit that their actions have made this a reasonable repercussion. This is so dumb. And there's, the thing is, they have done absolutely nothing, nothing to fix this. Nothing. Season seven, nothing. Season eight, nothing. We're halfway through season eight and they still have done nothing. Nothing. You can still play Cho'Gath into any bruiser and kill them by right clicking them with Graspy and Dying. Oh no, my bad. You have to hit E first. Look, here's my actual opinion. Champions like Cho'Gath, Maokai, Orn, they should be there for beginners. Like, if you're new at the game, Cho'Gath should be for you. You know? Oh, you're new at League of Legends. Pick up Cho'Gath. Is he good? No, but you know what? Um, he's easy. He's very, very easy. He should be shit. He should be bad. He should be Garen tier. It, I mean, he's even easier than Garen, so I can't even say that. That should be it. He shouldn't be a fucking competitive pick. Like, 
Like, what if you're fucking announcing your name? Wow, how's that choke at beating the bruiser? He hit E and he right clicked him. My god, my god, he, he right. He, wow, why, he, oh my god, did you see that? Did, wow, he right clicked him. Wow, what an outplay. Well, the opposing bruiser can't contend with, with, with skill like that. Wow, oh wow. Seriously. These people are the biggest sack of shit developers I've ever seen in any game ever. I've never seen developers be able to kill an otherwise balanced game this quickly. It, it's, it's incredible. They had like three years and they took probably the best competitive game and made it probably the worst competitive game. They only took three years to do it. And they barely even fucking work. They do like one patch every three months that actually does anything. That's like 12 changes they made and the game is a sack of shit. I mean, when you really think about it, that's incredible. Right? Like, that's fucking incredible. No, I mean, think about it. Think about it. Think about it. it takes skill to be that fucking terrible at designing the game. Like, look at it this way. If they were actually worse at their jobs, they would accidentally have made the game better. But they're at such a level of being terrible. They're at such an astounding level of being sacks of shit that they've never accidentally made the game better. They are true and consistent sacks of shit. No, but how? How? Like, like, seriously, look at the fucking Google Trends. Like, this isn't fucking rocket science. Your average player, your average person who just wants to play League of Legends and have fun, they don't want to adapt, they don't want to play the meta, no, they want to log in and have fun playing the fucking video game. Those people pretty much tuned out after Season 3. Maybe season four got a few people back. But the reality is, yeah, most of them got to that preseason five and they were like, nah, this game isn't for us. And then, you know what? The preseason six happened and people were like, let's check it out. And they decided, nah, it's not for us. And Riot has their head so far up their own asshole. It is just like, like here's their asshole, right? And here's their head. And it is... It is just, like, so far up their own asshole that they can't admit the stat that we all fucking know. People don't like the fucking meta. You don't like this meta. Nobody fucking likes having to fight Cho'Gath. Oh, but then why don't you ban Cho'Gath? Then I fight Orn. Oh, but then why don't you ban Cho'Gath and Orn? Then I fight who? Who the fuck do I fight? Nar? You mean a complete fucking retard and get masters playing a tank top. It's incredible. It's astounding. It's unbelievable. If I told you, you, person on the street, one day they're just going to fuck it and make Cho'Gath broken as shit. You'd be like, well, pff, no, they wouldn't do that. Cho'Gath is way too easy to play. You go back to like season three. Like, they're going to make Cho'Gath a top-tier top laner that beats everyone at every stage of the game. You'd be like, well, no, that, that's dumb. You wouldn't do that. The developers aren't bad people. And, and really, in my opinion, that's a big difference between, let's say, five years ago and now. Right. I mean, look at Cho'Gath. He does the same true damage as Darius' ult with no damage items. It gives him HP. He doesn't have to stack it. It casts instantly rather than having a cast timer you can play around. Darius' ult was like a one-second charge timer where it's like, huh, if you had any items or abilities or summoners to use, this would probably th 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 use them now. Okay. But no, Joe is just like, it's a cast, just... No, it in scales on health, and, 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 and here's the thing that will blow your fucking mind. When they made it scale off health, they didn't nerf its base damage. 
Cool, Angela. Creature they just said, oh, fuck it. Darius is old scales and health. What, are you going to nerf its base damage? Nope. Well, that just seems like you're going to buff it up. Yep. Well, that doesn't seem like a good idea. Hey, go fuck yourself. I mean, that's really Riot's live design team is, yeah, go fuck yourself. Hey, Riot, I don't enjoy losing to Graspy and dying in every champion. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Hey, Riot, uh, I don't enjoy three to four tanks on a team. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Hey, Riot, um, it's not, you know, fun to watch a competitive game where seven out of ten people are tanks and team fights are just teams running up and locking each other down while they get shoot something. Yeah, well, go fuck yourself. And now what are they doing? Oh, guys, 80 carries will do true damage on their attacks so they can kill tanks better. What if I'm not an 80 carry? There's lots of people who play this game who aren't a fucking 80 carry. Lots of people. It shouldn't be that you reach one and a half items and the, the tank just becomes an unkillable fucking demon that you need the 80 carry to hurt anymore. That's terrible game design. That just means that you stop being relevant to your team. Let me put this in a way that I think you might be able to understand. What fucking retard designed that? Oh, you can play a bruiser, but uh, at some point you won't be able to hurt the opposing tank and will get outscaled. Well, that seems like a terrible idea. Yeah, go fuck yourself. So what do they do? They give a few bruisers mechanics to hurt tanks. They, they do gangplank barrels, and they do Camille's Q. And they can't beat tanks with them, but they can hurt them. And, and that's what's important, the, the hurting of the tank. Because at least you can make them acknowledge your existence. Now, there's one problem with that kind of design. What about everyone else in the game? So you put out Conqueror. But you say, Conqueror's kind of good early game, but it's still going to lose to Grasp. So what the fuck does it matter? If you automatically lose to Grasp in the laning phase, you're saying you automatically lose the laning phase, then you get outscaled. When the fuck do you win in that situation? You get outscaled after losing the laning phase. What? Wh when does that become a win? Someone please tell me here. And that's a problem. That is a fundamental problem in this game. There is no path to victory if you're not playing a tank. You can play Camille and outrange them. You can play Gangplank and farm Grasp on them or Klepto. And that's it. That is the only fucking thing you can do in this game. And we've seen it every competitive game. You don't play a Bruiser ever. You just play a tank in every fucking situation. But these fucking morons, these absolute pieces of shit, don't, like, like, I honestly, do they even realize it? Like, honestly, do they even realize that their game is that bad? Because I, I wouldn't, it, it wouldn't be past me if, like, at the Riot office, they're like, guys, Conqueror has made Bruisers viable, now they can beat tanks. Like, are they just sitting there? Like, they put out the fucking video. Now, granted, no one's gonna put out a video where, like, we released Conqueror and it's terrible. And this was a complete waste of design time. So, our bad. Like, nobody's gonna put out a video saying that. So, obviously, if they put out a video about Conqueror, they're gonna talk themselves up and be like, we're the greatest. But, it honestly sounds like their fucking, their, their design team themselves actually believe Conqueror is allowing bruisers to play the game. How long has it been since Conqueror has been released and in the fucking competitive meta is still seven tanks in the game? If Conqueror was really doing its job, wouldn't like a few people be like, you know what, let's try it out. Let, let's just try this thing out. Oh, uh, they actually did, and they got fucked by Orn. Orn was like, haha, this fucking idiot went Conqueror. Free win! And he just autoed the fuck to death the Renekton using Graspia 9. And it, it, it just has never shown up since then. Anyone remember that, the LCK? 
It was Orn against Renekton. The Renekton took Conqueror, and they were like, ha, 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 we'll be able to beat the Orn using this Conqueror rune. And the Orn was like, uh, W, auto attack, proc grasp and dying, I gained bonus health, I took no damage, and you're CC'd. Yep. Yep, I actually just did that. Yep, you are actually playing this game competitively. Yeah, the developers are that dumb. Yeah, trust me, they are the worst. What we have here is a failure to communicate. Oh, wow, I played. Oh, wow, I played so hard. I played so hard. Congrats to the Riot Live design team for this amazing champion design. Wow, I just just level six and then the 300 true damage. Wow, wow, Twitch chat. Wow, wow, more damage than my ultimate with no items. He just gets to get level six. And I mean, that is skill. You need skill to pull off this play that he just did. They get level six, walk up and do more true damage than I do, even with a stacked ult. Incredible. In you guys just witnessed some of the best fucking gameplay in all of League of Legends history right there. Fucking, you know, clip that play, cause you will never see anything like it. Ever repeat it again. The instant cast, 315 true damage ultimate, with zero items. Wow. Bro. Oh. I mean, and, and I, I got to witness it, you know, on the other side, you know, I, and I got to witness his beauty. In the world of tank against not tank, Riot hasn't realized that not everyone wants to play a tank, you dipshits. In fact, I'd actually wager if you pulled the League of Legends community, your average person is going to go, no, I don't fucking want to play a tank. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna go more than that. I don't think it's gonna be your average person. I think almost everyone who plays this game is gonna say, I don't wanna play a tank. If you wanna play a tank, there's actually a game where you can play it. It's called World of Tanks! You're all tanks! Maybe Ride saw how much money World of Tanks was making and they were like, shit, we gotta get in on that. So it was like, Riot, um, so you realize our tanks aren't actually tanks. And they're like, shut up! We want to get that where the tanks money! Make that mean Really felt, uh, outplayed there. His massive damage with zero items. Oh, wow, I'm getting outplayed again. Not even close. It's like not even a little bit close. He just absolutely destroys me. I have so much more gold than him, and I can't even fucking touch him. God, the live design team are some smart cookies. Really good at their job. Really showing that they deserve to keep it. Nearly 2,000 more golden items than him. And he literally right clicks me to death. Nobody's gonna be able to carry because the only fucking people who can hurt tanks are 80 carries. Saying, like, oh, oh, bruisers can carry now. Can I kill the Cho'Gath? No? Then it doesn't really fucking matter. At the end of the day, my 80 carry will have to be the one to kill Cho'Gath. Therefore, I can't carry. Wow, guys. Look at this Cho'Gath with a support item. Wow. I'm really glad that he's able to hard carry. I mean, his 2,600 gold item is definitely a late game hyper carry item. So it makes sense that he was able to tank that much and then also do that much damage. Because he's a late game hyper carry with Righteous Glory. Yep. Good, good live design team right here. Good. Give him a fucking hand. Biggest pieces of shit. 
biggest, biggest. And I, I mean, like, if these people, if, if you could, like, turn how big a piece of shit they are conceptually, it'd be, like, as big as a fucking house. It'd be, like, a, a, just a house. It's just a giant fucking turd. And that's what the visualization for the live design team would be. Wow! Outplayed! The 50% perma slow into 680 true damage combo! Jesus! I didn't realize you could get so good at League of Legends, Twitch chat! Jesus, do you see the way he stands in front of them and outheals everything they do? Dear God, how do you get that good at this game? And this is every fucking day I play this game. Every fucking day I play this game. Anyone, anyone who decides to play a champion like Cho'Gath or Nar just wins. They just win. Oh, you decided to play Cho'Gath? Well, for some reason, the retards of Riot refused to nerf him, so I guess you get a free win. Congratulations. Nobody can figure out why they won't nerf him, but hey, you know what? You had the grand fucking foresight to play a champion that easy and powerful. I mean, people make fun of uh, 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 PUBG, right? They make fun of it. Oh, they're trying to make an eSport out of it. How the fuck do you make an eSport out of a game that's this shit? Jesus, the outplay that that Cho'Gath put on me. How do you get so good at League of Legends? Oh my god! This Trogath is outplaying us so hard! The skill! The talent! The way he walks through the turrets without taking any damage! Dear God, could he be the greatest player that League of Legends has ever seen? Uh, no, don't go that way, dude. Uh, fuck. The way he has no magic resist? 30 armor? Dear God, he's better than everyone, at everything! How, how does Riot let such an amazing player perform in League of Legends? Fire the entire live design team. I'm gonna ban Cho'Gat, I, I can't stomach fighting I, I want to get fucked by a different champion this game.